Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farm Simulator. I'm so excited. It is uh, Saturday for you guys. Saturday for me. I'm not fully sure. We got a lot to do uh, coming up in this, you know, time frame here with fields and whatnot. But we have to, uh, as you can see, we got to take care of pallets. And I'm filling the big old tanker here. And we are going to go ahead and do a chore montage, folks. So let's get started. So we are on the road heading into town here and we're actually going to stop really quick and kind of just look at what we got for uh, stuff going on here. I don't know. I don't think there'd probably be any pallets left. Ready? ready? No. All right. Yeah, I know planks aren't accepted there. All right. So let's go up to the store we got a couple things i need to do we got to get under control right away we got the water situation and the dairy situation under control um we have a few uh things to take care of so we're going to talk about a few of them one which i think we're going to conquer in this episode is i kind of want to get a bigger uh feeding thing for the cows and also storage for the pig food um definitely where them pallets are adding up and we do we're kind of on a war with the pallets so we're gonna try if we can to go ahead you know what we could actually buy the thing while we're up here i think it could probably get back on the trailer you know what? I think... Oh, well, we have to go get the other one to sell it anyway. Um, but really quickly, there is another thing that popped up for me. So I paid attention to on precision farming. So this thing says it's good. Nitrogen, you know, it's fine. But look at this. It's still bad. So I didn't realize that level is bad. We're going to have to actually take care of that. Probably not this episode. 
But in the next one, because if we look over here, the same thing right here, it, you know, you can see pH is all bad, nitrogen's bad. Um, we definitely are going to have to take care of that. Um, yeah, so that might be our next episode uh, on that front. But let me go ahead and get the trailer situated and let's grab the old food thing and take it up there coming in warm all right so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting rid of our old guy and there's a reason behind this madness too i like that little guy for feeding cows with he's great um i have no complaints other than the fact of the small malt limits, limits us what we can do with our bales, and we're going to want to get into a better baler here pretty soon, I'm thinking. So I think we're going to up the ante. Now, there is a few options uh, for animals. I had a, a bunch of the TMR wagons in on our mods list, and then I took some out because I feel like there wasn't a huge variant. So this is the one we had right here, and um, oh, we're uh, right here, yeah. So 8,000 liters and 65 horse. It was perfect because Johnny Popper could run it, but now we have a little bit more oomph on the farm. We are not going to this guy. I want to, <laughs> but we're not going to that guy. Um, we could go to this guy here. 29,000 and it, it's a little bit more than eight so it'll hold uh, it'll hold almost 12,000 which is not a bad number and but still a little bit limiting and it's not that much bigger however if we go to this guy uh, we could go to either one of these but I'm thinking huh I'm 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 really thinking we need to go to one of these two. And I'm not sure which one we should go to. 24 and right now if we do 8000 that's perfect on bales. I this sounds crazy but for 5 more grand I think I'm going to go with that bigger one. It gives us a little bit more options, and then down the road, we can always expand to, like, this one, or, yeah, this one. Yeah, I think that's probably the route we're going to go, and I think it'll fit in the building. Let me, let me see. So, that's kind of how tall it is. That's kind of how tall that one is. I think it'll fit. Let's risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I know this is quite the expense, but I think as we change bales and get into different bale sizes, this is really what we're going to want to get into. Um, let's see. We can do tip side right. Oh, we could change what side it comes out that's actually handy because the way our cow pen is set up the other one kept throwing it out to the left and I don't think it had the option to switch it it might have I probably wasn't paying attention too well all right so what we're gonna do um, we're just gonna test it quick and make sure it fits Oh yeah, it fits just fine. And also we have a straw bale in the way. Can we nudge that? There we go. So I do know a few things. <clears throat> right off the bat, we know we can put three of each of them bales that we were doing it before. But I might try using a mixture where I use straw too. That helps us out. Oh. Oh wow, it barely gets in there. That is something I didn't think about. Let's grab this other one here. Let's dump it in. Oh. 
darn, that thing is barely tall enough to get it in there. I did not think about that <laughs> at all whatsoever. Um, but I think we're probably okay. Um, let's grab it at the bottom. There we go. We'll lift up. Oh, all right. We're making a mess. And let's start lifting this guy up. Oh, don't go all willy-nilly on me. We'll tip that one in. We'll throw this one in here. See, I'm trying to see if I can use a straw bale. As it kind of makes our effort. Alright, this is... This is... This is going to be... Ooh, I don't know. I think we should try it. How much is one straw bale? Wait, what do we have in here? And we could have up to like... 30% straw. We have... Yeah, we have 16,000 in here. So, I think our straw bales are like 7? I don't know if we want to be doing that. Uh, let's pick one up and just see. Oh, let's pick one up. Not drive by it. Oh, it's 5. Oh, this might work out perfectly. Alright, let's throw a straw bale in. Alright, we'll see where it's at, but I'm going to grab this hay bale back here really quick. That seems to be filling it up pretty good. Um, there we got her. And let's see here. Oh, it's within the range perfectly. Ooh, I like that quite a bit. Can we get... Alright, see, now I'm getting greedy. Let's drop this bill here. Let's grab this one. And then let's grab this one. Now, I know this is going to overfill it, but what it might do for us is it may give us some extra as the bales wear out. All right, let's pull them out. And now I think we're still good, obviously. Yep. And we should have bales in there. This also matches uh, Frankenstein really well, by the way, this trailer. All right, so now when we start unloading, it should still say... It's 100%. Like, it should get refilled. Right? Well, our, our numbers didn't go bad on us. And it filled. So, I'm really happy with that. So, we kind of have a new way now of getting the cows fed. Um, and, honestly, we got a lot in there. So, we don't have to mix it every time. Although, I kind of do like mixing it a lot. But, alright, on to the next thing. Now, I've moved the trailers, partially because the road's here, and also because we need to get into some more silos. We talked about this a long time, but we want we want to try to do silos for everything. But one thing we have on our mind right now is over there by the pig farm, we have them pallets of pig food. And I kind of, let's see if we can walk over here. I kind of want to get rid of them. It'll help our pallet count. Yeah, as you can see right here. And, um, oh, it looked like it did take this one here in the middle. Thank gosh. All right, so let's pop over back to, nope, wrong way. There we go. Over here, let's go ahead and build, or let's look at silos, first of all. So, building silos right here. Now, we need to make sure they're ones that can hold pig food. But I think, if I remember correctly, I installed a mod. Okay, wow, that is big. 
Um. Huh. That's a seed one. Oh, here's. Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. This is. Oh, that's. Boy, that's cool, but that's not what I expected. Um, hmm. This is actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Can we flatten out? Ah, okay. Let's flatten out the land here. Let's get started with that. But I think we have a good way of going here. Let's grab painting, flatten. It's going to look weird for a second, but we'll fix it. Um, and, and we'll smooth it out here in a minute, but this is kind of what we're working with right now. All right, so if we put it right here, we're no nope, buildings, silos. This is our pig one. Oh, did I go buy it? No, I didn't. Where was it? Oh, I'm a little out of my game today, guys. Right here. I think, how are you overlapped? I think we put it right here. Now, the reason I think that is we could make a road. We could make this road. Let's see this really quick. Alright, we need to do the rounded corners. So let's do this. And then we'll square this part up. Like so. You know what? Our farm is really coming together. It's stuff like this that I just love. I absolutely love it. All right, so we have that hill to take care of. We'll do that in a second. All right, let's get a little area around this and get that done. I feel like that's probably pretty good. So now we have, like, this area. Let's widen this one out. Let's do the round thingy-doodler. All right, that comes around now. We can fill a silo there. And we can fill from this one right under here. We load up here, or we unload into it right there. Okay, so we're good on that silo. But now I want a silo. Um, I want, so we have, we have a few silos going on right now. We have, let's see, where is the one we're using? We're using, I believe... Where are you? Um, Jeepers. Where are you? There it is. This one right here. Which would be cool. And I like it. And we're going to stay with that one. But we have... A few other options here. Oh, that is expensive. That would be cool. Oh, that would be super cool. Oh, that would take all the money we have. That's a down-the-road thing. Um, but we have this guy right here. And he, look at that. It's like a perfect fit. Um, well, we can do it. That actually seems like a better option, don't it? Like so. I think we're going to do this. So we're going to have two silos. One's for stuff staying on the farm. And one's 
or you know what I mean? For example, like this one, we could have for uh, chicken, you know, the stuff for chickens. And this one could be saved all the stuff that we're going to use for productions. For example, uh, you know, obviously we're going to save potatoes probably for production. Oh, that's that one. Um, but like wheat, we're going to save for flour, oats, stuff like that. So I think that's the route we're going to go. But now we have to take care of this hill thing. Um... Where, let's, all right, let's do the level, like here, oh, that's taking a lot of cash, all right, and I feel like that's pretty close, and then we'll soften this whole part, and I know that's taking money, and that's okay. Kind of want to do it on a smaller scale here. All right, let me get this all softened up and looking good. So down the road, we actually might even do one more. Uh, that's like our selling silo. But I like this idea for now. We have like an animal one and, and farm stuff and then a production one. So I believe this should go right in there. Oh, look at that. That is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It sounds dumb, guys. And I say this a lot in a lot of episodes. But it feels like we're really starting to become a real farm. <laughs> we're finally getting there. And it sounds crazy, but it's like every time we do something really neat and cool like this, it just adds to the, the whole deal of our farm. There we go. So I'm going to try to grab... This is going to be dumb, but let's see. Can we grab... Can we grab both sets of pallets? That is the truth. So I know the potatoes. It doesn't like it, and it flips. And... Kind of has a similar issue. Um, with pig food. But it looks like I can kind of get it to work. Uh, looks like I can't kind of get it to work. All right, let's drop. Can we drop them? Oh, there's, there, I could drop one. That'll help. All right, guys, well, I'm going to fill this thing up, and we'll see you in the next episode, folks. Have a good one.